Hello everyone. Uh, so what we'll do today is uh, something that I'm actually really excited about because I just discovered this. Um, but I want to walk you through how uh, to use the advanced custom fields widget. Um, and so before we talk about that, let's just re really quickly talk about who this is for and who this is not for. So this video is for web designers, web developers who who build custom websites who like to theme their own WordPress themes, right? So this is not really for someone that uses the Genesis theme and edits within the Genesis theme or uses some other WordPress theme that already exists. This is for folks like myself that like to create our own themes, right? Sometimes it doesn't make sense to create your own theme, but uh, for the most part, um, I like to create uh, from scratch. I don't like to use with, uh, existing themes. Um, and so this is creating a theme within HTML5 uh, blank, which is a blank theme. Um, and essentially what I want to show you is uh, how I solve the problem that I, that I often have um, when I design sites for clients. Um, and that is, so basically what I have here is a blank template that I built in HTML5 blank, right? We've got a header um, and then we've got some stuff controlled by the page. The issue here is a lot of this stuff is controlled by CSS. So for example, this is a background image in CSS and this is a background image in CSS. <coughs> and this is what the page should look like, right? So on the left column here, there's some text. There's like a, there's some kind of catchphrase where they can, it's a call to action where the user can click and go do something. There's another call to action here and another, um, and another, uh, bit of text here. And so I've built out, and also there's some text here that is overlaid on this background image. Um, and so I've built out the theme and what I want the client to be able to do is to, I want the client to be able to change any of the words on the page, right? So typically cl uh, clients, aren't, from my experience, don't really like to change the content all that much. But if they do, if you've got a client that is into changing the content, you want them to be able to change all of the content. So I want them to be able to change the title here of this page and even the tagline um, and all of the text on the page. So as you can see in our test page, it's just a blank template right now and all, uh, none of the text is showing up. And let me show you what the issue is. So on a, in, in the default WordPress settings, uh, theme settings, um, you basically have one field where you can enter information, right? So I can enter information. Um, so if I wanted to add product A, I could add product A here. And it's a header two in my style sheet. And I can add some, uh, some text. So I'll add some text real quick. And I'm just going to copy this bit of text um, and I'll update. And so when I reload the page, product A is showing up. But my main issue is um, usually when I design uh, sites on WordPress, I'll, I'll make the rest of these fields controlled by widgets. Right, so this is like a sidebar widget and this is a sidebar widget and this is another sidebar widget. But that's actually really confusing, I, I found, uh, for myself, but also for clients. Um, and so what I've, what I've learned is that clients want everything on one page. Um, so the client should be able to control the text in this box, and in this, and in this, and in this, and in this, just on this one interface. And so I didn't know how to do that. Um, I typically just, again, controlled it by uh, editing my template files so that those were controlled by widgets. Um, but instead, I've used, uh, I've discovered this uh, plugin called Custom Fields. Okay, so basically what Custom Fields does, it allows you to add any fields you want uh, to a particular, um, to a particular page. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new field group and I'll call it test. And just for illustration purposes, I can create a uh, a test field. And basically what this, what I'm going to create a field for this area and I'll just call it image caption overlay one. 
Um, and essentially what this does is you can create uh, any kind of field, and this is the non-paid version, and this is these are the fields you can create. So you can create text, uh, you can actually create a WYSIWYG, uh, just add another another entire WYSIWYG editor in there. Um, but I am just going to keep it with text so that it's really simple for the client. All the client has to do is type text in a box and uh, and it'll appear on the page because it's being controlled by your theme files. Um, I'm not going to fill this out because I've already created image caption overlays. Let me just show you what that looks like. So image caption overlays. I have image caption overlay one and overlay two. What I'll do here is I'll so you have to specify what, where to put these fields. So I'm going to specify, I'm going to put this in a field called test. And now both of these things will show up in a field called test. So let me show you how that works. Or I'm sorry, called image caption overlay. So image caption overlay one, uh, and I actually, you can actually add directions. Uh, in the using the uh, custom fields plugin, uh, it says to use header two. So I'll just uh, call this um, uh, super tagline something something catchy, uh, and then I'll put it in heading two, um, and then I'll add a link. It said to add a link, so I can add a link just how I normally would add a link. Uh, I'll add a link to the contact page and then I'll update. So now what the client can do is they can change this how they please. Super tagline is now showing up and it's linking properly. <laughs> and if you wanted to change that to super duper tagline, the client could easily do that without really any coding knowledge. So if I change that to super duper tagline, uh, this will then also change. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, we're missing a step. How, how is this just magically appearing and styling perfectly uh, where we want it to? Um, so this is the really, really cool thing. So let me show you what Custom Fields does. So Custom Fields creates a, for each of these um, fields that you create, it creates a field name. Okay, and so you want to make sure you have this field name and you want to copy and paste this field name because this is what you can add to a little bit of PHP code and add it to your template file. So if we go to, I've got a template file. This is a page.php template file. And basically what I've done is, I have all of my um, HTML uh, and I'll have all my CSS. Um, so you can see div class keyword, that's what that's what this is. This is my keyword class, and it's I've got the border around it, and I've made it into a link and made the color white and all of that stuff in the CSS. Um, all you have to do then is pop this little bit of code like you normally would in your page.php file um, and wrap it in some HTML, and it'll, uh, it'll just pull from that particular field, right? So it's PHP the field, um, and then inside single quotes, um, whatever the field you created was. So image caption overlay one, here's image caption overlay two. Um, so it's really neat that uh, it basically works much like this little bit of code PHP the content, um, which pulls from the database, from this field in the database. So the default field is the content. We're basically just adding fields to the page. So if I wanted to add another um, second tagline, make it heading two, it should style perfectly, and it should just pop right over there. Um, and it's not, I need to add a link. to something, we'll just add it to the contact page again. Oops. Add it to the contact page. 
update. And there it is. Okay, for some reason it's not styling properly, but trust me, it should style properly. Um, and then the, so the last thing is, is we don't, we're missing this field here. Um, and so we can actually just, we could actually just create um, another custom field, which I've already created, but you could just create another custom field. So I've created a custom field on, uh, and you can create field groups, but I've created a custom field in the products page called second product. Um, and so basically again it's the same thing you field label this is uh, the field name and I'm just gonna add this field to our test page that we've created I'm gonna update it and let me just show you real quick again the template file so here's the again here's or I'm sorry Here's the uh, page.php for my products page. Um, I'll show you, there's the second product, little piece of PHP code. So it's the same function, PHP the field, um, but instead I'm just putting in single quotes whatever our field is that we created. So I'm calling this second product. So that should show up now on my test page. And if you go all the way to the bottom, there it is, second product. Now I can add some text. Uh, let's add some lorem ipsum text. And now I can update it. And now our test page will show up. And then you can also add, since it's a WYSIWYG, I can also add an H2, a header, another awesome header here. And so this is something that, oops, the client could really easily update his or herself. So there's another awesome header. So now this is all showing up, <laughs> and this is all something the client can control from one single interface, right? So this is all something the client now doesn't have to jump around to the widgets page or to trying to figure out what controls what. It's fairly self-explanatory. Um, product A is there, tagline's there, tagline's there, product B is here. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you. Um, it's called Advanced Custom Fields uh, 4.4.8. That's the version I'm using. And it's really great for those of you that are uh, like to build up custom themes. Um, it just adds functionality for the user um, for the client to be able to make changes, uh, make really simple changes to um, the content. Okay, so just a really quick recap. Um, it's essentially three steps. Um, you create the field, um, you, put the PH, you put the PHP code into your template file, you style it however you want to style it in CSS, so that's step two. And then step three is um, you just, in your page, you add the content into the field and the content appears on the page. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. hope it was helpful. Uh, we'll see you next time.